So how's it going, ladies? Fine, thank you. What you got there? How awesome is it having your own action Hello. figures? Hello! <laughs> it's too right? exciting! It's thank awesome. You. Yes. It's so too cute. Cool. Where did you guys first <laughs> see them? Here, actually. Mm -hmm. We had a cast dinner two weeks ago, and we we saw that the, the whole lobby was decorated with Big Hero 6 memorabilia. Your own action figures. Oh, you got one there. I want that one. I haven't even seen this. Oh. I mean, I have it right here. Right, but... but I haven't seen it in the package. Yes. I guess you sort of see how cool it is, but yeah. it's like, let me look, let me look. Yeah. Are these yours or? Th those are mine, yeah. <laughs> You're like, give them yeah. back. I had to go to Drag seven so Toys R Us to find these. Oh. That's how much uh, adults absolutely adore. You know, just like action figures and toys to this day. That's why we all like animated I guess why they said three films. and up. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. You don't have like a... <laughs> you don't go three to ten years old. It's like <laughs> all the way up to the yeah. end of it, you'll three love to, toys. Three to, come on, you weirdo. And you're there. The, the first day these were available at the Disney store, I went in and I bought so many of them. I, my entire room was filled with these. I'm pretty sure, like, you know, my cousins are going to be happy I'm bringing these for, uh, for Christmas time. <laughs> so you have stocking stuffers, obviously. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. It's great. Oh, cool. Which do you think tastes better, gray superheroes or princesses? Why? Aww. Girl superheroes, of course. Um, <laughs> because, uh, you know, we get ourselves out of trouble and we can rely on ourselves to get out of tough situations. But princesses are also cool because I learned how to comb my hair with a fork. Yeah. I, I can't, I can't choose. I would have to say they're both cool in their own ways and, you know, I, I think the next movie would be a princess that is a superhero. There we go. There you go. So you guys got superpowers in this movie. Is there a superpower power that you guys wish you had in real life? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. What would it be? Mm -hmm. I mean, Cyclo Cyclops lives such a troubled life. You know, all he wants to do is see his true love, and yet once he take off, takes off his glasses, mm -hmm. like can fry someone potentially. Mm -hmm. um, I would have to go with, and same thing with Jubilee. She's cursed. She mm -hmm. can't touch anyone, and yet all she wants to do is love with her hands. Um, so I would say Mystique. Mystique. Okay. Yeah. You can turn into anyone. Yeah, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. I would get into trouble with that. Um, <laughs> but I, I guess for me, um, it would be having the power of every language um, and being able to speak to anyone. Maybe I'm going to switch it up and say everything. <laughs> and so I, I'm going to speak to dogs, cats, birds. Oh, that's there you cool, go. That's, right? That's totally that's off the really wall. Cool, right? So when you guys were when you guys were in the booth, was there like a must-have thing you needed, like your, a certain drink, a certain food, maybe a toy or a trinket? No, you learn very quickly you're not supposed to eat in the booth. Um, oh. <clears throat> no, it's usually warm tea and Red Bull and... Yeah, Gatorade for me was a must because I had to, I lost so much energy. It was a workout. Um, <laughs> I was always sweating as Honey Lemon because she was so hyper all the time. Um, so definitely. That. And, and you know what? I don't know if they did this with you, but sometimes when your voice would get kind of scratchy, they, they gave me apple slices, and I don't know if that was Oh, it. yeah. It's the sound, like, yeah, it's the it's sound something. that your mouth makes. And so when you, yeah, so when you eat an apple or when you drink apple juice, yeah. It takes it away. There was one occasion where they, like, provided it all for me, and I was like, so obviously I sound awful right <laughs> Yeah, now, so. I wonder what, what, <laughs> what it sounds like. Can you remember the last hustle you maybe had? At the beginning of the movie, there was a hustle going on. Can you remember the last hustle you performed? The last hustle I performed, man. Uh, uh, I, yeah, every day is a hustle, to be real. Um, I, 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 I can't think of one in particular. I think, I, I think the hustle that comes to mind is, you know, uh, you can't have dessert without vegetables, so you know you gotta side the vegetables off the plate. Um, and yeah, that's, I think that's the, the most recent hustle. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. All right, you guys want to take a video question? Yeah. I was wondering if you guys have ever tried to sneak into the house uh, without having your parents find out. Thanks. Have we ever tried to sneak into the house without our parents finding out? Sneak out of the house or into the house? Either or, let's go. I think I've never tried to sneak into the house unless I've already snuck out of the house. Uh, one time I... I tried to tie uh, sheets together to sneak out of really? the bedroom. Yeah, and it came undone, like when I was halfway down, and I just landed on my back. I couldn't breathe for a solid minute. So you thought that really worked? Yes. 
I also jumped off of a roof with uh, an umbrella, like Inspector Gadget. Is that true? I was a retard, yes. Uh, I was a retard. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. I've done a lot of dumb things. So you guys are fan, you're a fan of recycling in the movie. Mm -hmm. um, what mm -hmm. underwear do we have on today? Uh, I went with the American Eagle. Are we allowed to say that or no? Well, it's not the brand. It's actually it's uh, American Eagle Pelt. But it is illegal to kill bald eagles in the United States. But I bought one overseas, had it shipped sort of uh, through customs. We bribed them. And then I killed the eagle, skinned it, and then I used those as I made a pair of underwear. Yeah. And there's a leather cod piece sort of in the middle that is from a, a baby bull. Mine is Velcro. Velcro mm -hmm. thong. Yep. Yeah. So it's like, it's it, it snapped, right? <laughs> yeah, right there. Yeah. Okay, well. It's I have a little on. itchy, but it's worth it. I don't have any, so. It's I itchy, but it's worth it. Yeah. <laughs> the David Wayans Jr. story. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so is it, you guys have come from a comedy style that's super off the wall. Was is it easier to turn down or kind of turn up what you guys did? I, you know, I turn it up. I turn up full bald eagle. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I use that bald eagle supple skin to do the. No, I mean I think this was an interesting experience because doing comedy for Disney, I came in thinking, all right, I'm gonna have to do a Disney version of my comedy. And they said, no, 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 you just do your comedy. I mean, it's, yeah, it's got to be funny to kids, so I'm thinking about that. But I think about that in any you know, children's animated entertainment. But they really said, just do your thing. And that's why it's so amazing to me that, you know, in this movie, there's so much of, of me and the character. I didn't expect that. Awesome. Yeah. Did it. What did he say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ow! Hello, I am Baymax, your personal healthcare companion. I was alerted to the need for medical attention when you said, ow. Yes, my head hurts. I'm sorry to hear that, Julian. I will scan you now. Scan complete. You have a headache. This is the result of stress. Are you stressed, Julian? Yes. What is the cause of your distress? Marcus Allen. Please explain. This man drives me crazy. I advise you to get away from Marcus Allen. Okay. Does that cure your problem, Julian? No, how can I get rid of him? It is unnecessary to be with someone you don't enjoy. Do you have to be near Marcus Allen? I hope not. Is he a friend of yours? Sometimes. Do you interact with him? Not today. Then today is a good day. Yes. Does he enjoy your company, Julian? Yes. Then it is a one-way friendship. It is. You need to be more patient. Okay. What about Marcus makes you upset? His movie show. I hate it. Hate leads to stress. This is the cause of your headache. If you can find a way not to hate Marcus Allen, then you will be happier. Thank you. Make him less important in your life. Okay. Does he think he is important in your life? You certainly have made him very important in your life. Okay. That is in your control. I am satisfied. I'm very glad, Julian. Tell Marcus I say, hello, I am Baymax, your personal healthcare companion. Thank you. Goodbye. Marcus Allen, what are you doing here? 